Hi guys, Specimen here. There's been a update on the next journey by Slama Two Flags, Jason Slama, the game director of Gwent. Thought I'd bring you a video of this article. It will be in the description if you want to read it at your own leisure. I just know a lot of you won't have seen this. You won't be on Reddit. You won't be on Twitter. So, yeah. The journey is still 100 levels. Uh, it's going to be coming out on the 4th of August, which is next week. I would imagine it's probably Siri. That would be my prediction, but I, I know nothing. So, it's just a guess. Obviously, last one, Geralt. It would make sense to go for Siri. Um... Obviously, Triss and Yen sort of make sense, but Slama, in one of his streams, said it wasn't going to be those two. So, I think Siri is a pretty safe bet. Either that or the Pella. Please be the Pella. Please be the Pella. But, I digress. So, it's still staying the same that you need 24 crown points to level up. You earn a crown point by doing quests. Or, one round of Gwent equals one crown point. So, if you lose 2-1 in a game of Gwent, you won one round, you will get one crown point. And you need 24 of those crown points to level up once in the journey. Previously, there was 100 levels in the journey, and that is still staying the same, but they're changing it ever so slightly. There's going to be six quests each week, three standard and three premium. The three premium quests are quests you get if you purchase the premium journey pass, uh, but you also get the three standard in there as well. There's a well-rested bonus, which basically every day you log on, the first 14 crown points you earn um, gets you double points, essentially. So if I win 14 rounds of Gwent, I'll get 28 crown points for that day for the first 14 I get. And there's a week limit of 350, which is a lot. Like, I play a lot of Gwent, and I've not hit it that many times. I'm sure over the summer months when I'm playing quite a bit, I will. But it, this really is a lot, so not really much to say about that. And there's more rewards in the free part of the journey, which is nice. Um, in our first journey, reaching level 100 would result in gaining 209 reward points. Starting the next journey, we decided to add an additional 17 reward points, making the total obtainable without paying 226 reward points. Yep, cool. The free path of the journey will also contain 11 avatars, like before, and the additional reward point obtainable via premium journey remains at 42 reward points. So the premium journey gets you 42 extra reward points. And there's 11 avatars in the free path. What happens when I reach level 100? Because previously, if you reach level 100, you'd revert to the old system, uh, but they've changed it slightly. In general, we felt like the off-journey system was flawed in several aspects. Journey quests lost meaning once reaching level 100. I can confirm I reached level 100 without trying to complete any of the quests. Um, the crown reward system being used would reset progress every day. The lack of... Blah, 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 cool. So they've changed it. They are now... When you get past level 100, you can keep leveling up. Um, after each, le each level after 100, you'll gain two reward points regardless of whether you're playing through standard or premium journey. All... Journey quests and Royal Race of Bonus will also count towards your progression, creating a consistent progression system. So basically, it's not just capped at 100. You get to 100 and it's like before, but you can keep going, I guess, up to level 1337 or something like that. On top of that, there will be 12 new contracts, most of which will be unlocked after reaching level 100. So that's really, really cool. When you hit level 100, there's going to be these specific contracts uh, 12 new ones, six premium, which gives you 90 reward points. And sorry, six standard, which gives you 90 raw points. So they six contracts for 90 raw points. These must be pretty hefty, uh, which is interesting. Hopefully they're nice and fun and not play 712 uh, Viper Witches or, or something like that. And then there's six premium journey contracts rewarding one avatar for trinkets. Trinkets are um, like the names, I think. And maybe borders can be in trinkets as well. Or possibly like things your character holds and 20 reward points. Summary. With these changes, Journey is now officially the most generous progression system which Gwent has ever had. Cool. So, Journey coming in a week. Who do you guys think is going to be in it? It's just going to be a quick video. You can read the article at your own leisure. As I say, reward points, scraps, all this kind of thing whoosh, confuses the hell out of me. I'm not going to lie. I've been playing the game for a very long time, so I've got um, lots of my rewards already there. Like, I've got everything I sort of need, to be fair. But um seems like we're getting some more stuff. And also the extra stuff over level 100 for those people like me that sesh the game and will get there and want to, you know, have keep having that content. It's always nice for more content. The free part of the journey is getting more rewards and um, also the premium journey is getting these extra quests as well. So yeah, seems good to me. Who do you think is going to be the next journey? Is it going to be the Pella? Is it going to be Siri? It's not going to be Tristan Yen. I'm pretty sure. But who do you guys think? Just thought I'd bring you this short video also on my twitch channel while i'm here i've got some new emotes so 
Come check those out because there's some pretty cool Gwent related emotes. Uh, yeah, pretty sick. I'll uh, try and show them off to you in a video because I think they're worth a video on their own because they're that good. They're that sick. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Any questions? Let us know. Um, there's obviously this post here that you could read through at your own leisure and there's like some other comments as well uh, from CDPR people. And uh, there's also probably like a link a Reddit post that I'm sure has been said about this as well. Not too much to say, but I thought it was worth bringing it to you because I know a lot of you will have missed this. And yeah, seems good to me. As I say, crown points whew, confused the hell out of me. But I think I think we got through it. I've, I've tried filming this video like seven times. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. Sweet.